G'day and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, so today we're going to be uh, building the crane. Um, now I've been playing around with a few ideas of how I wanted to handle it. And I think I've come up with um, something that should be pretty good. So then I played around with uh, an idea of having sort of like a, a truck with a, a crane on the back of it. And the crane swivels around, picks up the battery and, and puts it on the bed. And I think that'll be, that'll be good. So, um, power was the last thing we sorted out, right? Are we good on power? It looks like we are. Eight days of power without anything running. Um, cause yeah, we're not processing anything at the moment. Oh, here's an idea. What if we were to fix up the goose and then instead of building a new truck, we just build a, a another trailer. A trailer with a crane on the back of it specific for this purpose i think that would be pretty cool because then that gives that gives me a reason to detach this trailer and and use you know all the functionality of it all right um but what we should what we should do first i i, I don't want to get into that right now while i was playing around in my creative save Ariva showed up and it just uh, instantly made me realize that I have no defenses on this base. I don't even have a bloody rifle. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I've got nothing to defend us with. Um, so what we could do is we could turn the antenna down on this. Actually, we can just turn it off. That's on the uh, on the drone that's attached to the base. So let's not broadcast any signals for Rebus to pick up. I'm not sure if that's actually a mechanic. I I think it is. I think Rebus pick up antenna. Uh, goose. There you are. Let's turn you off. Okay, so let's get some turrets. That scared me a little bit, not going to lie. Let's get some turrets up and running. Um, we will have to mine some magnesium. And and this gives me a chance to to try out the uh, the new turrets that have uh, been added to the game recently. So that'll be fun. Where are we going to put these? Are we just going to slap them all over the roof? Uh, maybe having some decoys uh, away from the base might be uh, a good idea as well. Not too far away from the base. Just like a, a few blocks out on either side of the base, um, maybe at the end here. We will have to, because this is a separate grid, we'll have to have separate decoys for this place as well. Okay, so a bunch of decoys, a bunch of turrets. Here they are. These are the ones we want. So we need a proper assembler. Okay, well that is uh, a good thing anyway, because I did want to increase our production. Um, okay, so we don't really have a great deal of space to work with here. Okay, so I've changed my mind, because this is going to take up a fair bit of time, and we really need protection, right? So what if we just slap these down real quick, just so we can unlock everything. And then we will move them after we get turrets set up. Beautiful. Okay, so now we got a full refinery going and a proper assembler. Now we are gonna need some magnesium uh, and that's probably gonna take a while to... Oh, are you, oh my God, come on, Bob. 
Oh, thank you for fixing Dodie. I appreciate that at least. Um, yeah, so the magnesium is going to take a while to process. So if we go and mine some magnesium for ammunition, while it can get processed while we um, while we build uh, the turrets and everything. All right, so power on, thrusters on. No, it's not the thruster button. Uh, let's turn the antenna off. Detector on. Yeah, as, as I was saying before, like, uh, I hope we don't need any iron, but we probably are, right? I mean, we need iron for everything. Yeah, we essentially have no iron at all. Oh, we do have a rifle. Oh my god. That's, that's not our rifle. I need to get rid of that. Uh, Bob's picked it up. It was something uh, left over from me creating the scenario. I essentially used this to, to shoot up the the goose. Um, I don't know how to destroy things though. I guess we could fly really far away and drop it on the ground. Or we could, yeah, do that and then I think you can grind it. Let's get out of range of Bob. I deserve that. <laughs> Is that the first death? I think it's the first death. So yeah. Taking to explosive ammunition with a grinder. Probably not the smartest move. I'm glad I did that away from base. <laughs> well, at least I got the first death out of the way. Feel good. And it was doing something really dumb as well. I, I like that. All right, so Izzy will uh, grind those down. We don't need them. Um, iron. We're going to go get iron. We need to find like a decent deposit of iron. Um, and if we're going to do that, I want to put this guy in charge. We, we've got power. All right, let's uh, connect up. Thrusters off and then batteries on recharge. So that will recharge the batteries in four minutes or 14 minutes. So, and we don't need full charge. And uh, in the meantime, I will continue grinding this down. Ooh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, actually. I don't think we're gonna be able to use these stairs. They, they just take up too much space. I really like them because they're a nice slope, but yeah. Unless we, we turn them on their side. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. Just because we we need to get down fairly low, uh, fairly rapidly. So that'll take us down. And then... This conveyor. It's in a terrible spot. There we go. Okay, so does that give us the room we need? No, that doesn't. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, 
if the stairs went that way, we'd be we'd be laughing. I mean, I guess we could do that, and then put maybe a plate here. Yeah, fuck it. I mean, look, that that works, okay? Yeah, and then we've got all this room underneath here to jam some stuff. Let's see if we can find some iron close by. Uh, possibly on the side of this hill down here. Looks like it. there's grey patches there. Let's see what we've got. Iron. Hell yeah. And cobalt. Oh my god. That's the jackpot. What's your third deposit? Go on, be like silver or something. Nah, nickel. Okay. So uh let's let's just mark this. Um So I'm gonna get a load of iron. I'm also gonna get a load of uh cobalt. And then if we've got enough power, I will pick up another iron. I should make a GPS marker for the base as well, seeing as we've turned that antenna off. Alright, let's check inventory. Uh, this ship only, hide empty. Alright, still waiting for Izzy to take that last little bit out. Maybe there's not enough space down there. It might not be. Real quick, let's go down and build another um, cargo container. Oh, shit, we're probably not going to have enough grids. Sweet. All right, let's see. Um, we'll just make this strictly ores. Uh, do I want to recharge the batteries fully? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm. I think we'll just leave this on. On recharge. Can we? Yeah, just. No, just. There we go. Okay. Did we just lose power? Something just shut down. The whole base shut down. There's no way in the fucking world. The battery's empty. Why? How? Alright, luckily, Dodie does have some charge. Fuck, I can't believe that. I can't believe it. Like, I thought we had hours left. I guess... Charging Doty was putting a, a massive strain on it. Okay. Alright, nice work, Doty. You got this, buddy. I think I'm just gonna place some blocks real quick. Just so it stays level, I guess. Don't kill me, please. Okay. Okay, so you, you're set to recharge. Okay, that's because the base is completely out of power, so the script can't take over. Let's grab some wind turbines <laughs> and some, uh, I think we'll make another tower. Alright, there we go. So, how's this looking now? Oh, fully recharged in three hours. 1.35 megawatts current input. Yeah, that's not bad. That's only 
one and a half days. <laughs> okay, but we are burning through power way quicker than even what this is providing us. Um, hmm. So it says these are all optimal. Okay, so we've at least... Oops, oh, I've forgotten to finish welding that up. At least these are all uh, spaced apart and we're getting the most power we can out of them. Um, yeah, let's probably overkill that gap there, but that's fine. So we could build another one. All right, there we go. We've got three towers. Let's, uh, let's see the batteries now. Two hours. Only one day. Okay, fully depleted in three hours. Is that with the machines running? Doesn't sound like it. Okay. The refinery's working. Yeah, refinery is working, but the assembler isn't. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, so you're only using one kilowatt when you're not working. 560 kilowatts when you are working. And you... You don't have an easy access point for me. <laughs> I'll just make one. Where's your... Oh, your control panel's all the way up here. Okay, so you were just, yeah, okay, you were the same, 560. Well, either way, um, we should be good to at least, uh, you know, start focusing on the turrets, which was the original goal for the start of the episode. What are you looking at? What's up there? What is it? What do you see? <laughs>
Okay, so we can't actually fully deck out the assembler. Uh, because I can't get to that bottom one. But we can do this one up here. So we can get three out of the four. Uh, and once they get welded up, if Bob's actually going to do it, that should save us heaps of power. God, I'm spewing. I, I didn't do it sooner. I told you I'm. it's been a while since I played and yeah. Just doing dumb shit. Alright, uh, cool. Well, we got three of those on. So, um... Oh, shit. I forgot to take the Dodie off. Fully depleted in four minutes. Fuck. Got sidetracked. Oh, this guy has got heaps of power. Wow. It's got more than the base. <laughs> uh, how are these batteries doing over here? Because, yeah, probably going to... Oh. Is that nearly full? Fully recharged in 25 minutes? My god. That is epic. Uh, okay. That's right. Two hours? Yeah, look at our output. Our output is going right down. Um, is that with the refinery running? It is, look at that, 112, down from 560. And the assembler, down to 167. Fuck, no, why didn't I do this sooner? Still got heaps of power left in Dodie. We did a fresh battery swap for the base. And we got power efficiency modules on our two most heavily used machines. We've got ammo, we've got defenses. Like at the moment we're just waiting for Bob. We've got, yeah, motors. What's going on with motors? Oh, you're just trying to do a million steel plate, which is understandable because you do need a shitload. I really shouldn't have spent it all on heavy armor. That's most likely not going to do anything for us. I don't even know if Bob can reach these. Yeah, he must have, because he's got all the metal grids in. Did you... Oh, this is not smoking anymore? You've like... Oh my god. Ah, uh, you are struggling to rebuild those, though. Because <laughs> I stole everything from him. That's cool. Alright, um, I think we're good to start building the... Building the crane now. I'm I'm actually going to take a quick break now, but yeah, my next recording session, I'm going to start the crane. 
See, I told you I was going to build this the same way I built Ma. I build the mechanism first and then I'll build the truck or the vehicle around it. I don't know, it just, with these sorts of vehicles, I, I never know exactly what shape this is going to take. So I tend to build that first and then it makes it easier to build the ship around it. Um, yeah, so I'll show you what I mean by that script. Um, let's go into spectator just because we're locked to the ground. Okay, so the thing I like about this script is not only do we like you're not just binding like one set of pistons to a key you combine complex movements to one key. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, if I just press forward, like just W, see how the like three sets of pistons are going and it moves the claw forward. So you've got the, the main uh, support hinges at the back and then you've got the boom uh, pistons and the knuckle pistons they're all moving and they're moving at different rates as well like you can change different speeds so i could actually get this to go like fairly straight and i can use multiple keys at once it's very cool and then if i switch over to my other set of controls this is just mainly for the claw um, i've got forwards now does that pitches the claw and then left and right. And then spacebar like closes everything up and C opens them up. So I think, yeah, I think this is good. Like it's gonna, don't get me wrong. It's, it's not like easy. I'm, I'm gonna, it's, I'm still gonna be struggling with the controls, but I think this is so much better than the turret controller because that was just all over the place and I didn't have anywhere near the amount of control I've got with this one like yeah this is this is really cool probably need uh maybe a camera or something on there as well to make picking up the battery a little bit easier but yeah so now I've got to build the truck around this um, so we need a bed that can fit this and also this crane is also a lot longer than I uh, originally planned um, this looks sort of like gooseneck that's coming off it um, obviously it doesn't need to stick out that far I just I like the way it looked so now I need to take that into account that if we want to swivel this around I need to make sure that there's free space behind behind it before we put any sort of cargo so it's going to be a pretty big um pretty big trailer although it honestly probably wouldn't be any bigger than this because this has like the six large cargo containers and then there's a miner sitting on the back okay so let's raise this up um just so we've got a bit of room to play with. Should I, I should probably attach it directly to this, shouldn't I? I've got a little bit of a base there. So what if I just come off the bottom of that and go straight across? Cause I do want this to sit up a little bit higher than the, the tray itself. So yes, like I think that'd be a pretty good height to be honest. This battery's gonna go. Um, so each one of these is five. So we've got 15, 15 blocks just for the batteries. And that's 15 to there. So let's see how much space we're going to need for this guy. Yeah, and we obviously don't want to be dropping things like right next to this. So we want to come back probably about to there.
I haven't checked our power for a while. We're chockers. And it's still on recharge. So this is essentially the same as this one, just without that flat face on it. And I kind of like it, to be honest. This angle match up with that. Oh, it totally does, right? Um. Bob, you want to fucking explain yourself, mate? You just randomly... Yeah, that looks much better. It's not so bulky. Okay, so now we've got to get... Um, well, ideally we need to get this fixed. I'm pretty sure I threw a projector on here. Yeah. 35 armor blocks, one vertical button panel. Let's add a piston with a um, mag plate on here. See if we can lift this thing right up. Uh, and then that way we, we might be able to get the uh, wheels on there. I really want to update this, uh, this hitch as well to use um, hinges. But this middle one, this vertical one, is annoying. Like, we could do that with just a hinge. And we wouldn't need all these armor blocks and everything. Alright, I think we can bring this thing down now. See if we can get that wheel to just go off the edge that might work beautiful um, we're not going to be able to leave the trailer here with the goose jackknife Is that good enough? Can we get the... Oh yeah, heaps of room. Okay, I forget what buttons are which. <laughs> uh, hinge lock. I don't know if it's locked. Hinge reverse and then detach. Okay, 
So bottom to top. Right, there she is. Now we detach it. God, I wish we had like text here to tell me what all this shit is. <laughs> I mean, because when I put this on the toolbar, like I don't have a fucking clue. Um. I this says wheels all because it's a group. Okay, that looks uh, as good as we're gonna get. Um. Actually, it's on the toolbar, isn't it? Number five. And attach. Yay. We did it. And it didn't explode. <laughs> so there's no point swapping it over unless this battery bank is full. Which it looks like it is. Okay, that's fine. We can we can swap it over then as a as a test run. See how the crane is working. What we got there, just a supply transport. It's fine. Um, also, this is not an ideal place for this battery, considering this is now a trailer. I don't want to have to like reverse this thing in. I want sort of like a drive-through system. So what if we like? We come in here, turn around to the right, we have a platform that goes out that way. We can just drive right up next to it. Oh, I would like the batteries to go underground as well. Because at the moment they're very exposed and like when we get attacked, that's going to get destroyed straight up. be able to fit under the fucking <laughs> our chances of making this turn. You're going to go up over that? Oh, come on. You can do that. 
What if I just give you some more power? Nah. There you go. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, how's it? Ah, send looking. Yeah, we're gonna have to... Just ride right out here. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Alright, just drive over the button. Yep, that's fine. Who needs it? God, the trailer's up on the... on the ledge as well. <laughs> My god. <laughs> We did not make this wide enough. Okay, we should be able to get into position from there. We're a little bit too far forward, but that's all right. Lock her up. Let's drive this sucker forward. All oh, this next bit's going to be tricky because uh, Goose is going to be going down a hill. Is that? Ah, oh, that looks pretty good actually. I think. Yeah, I think we can handle that. Might be going that side. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to lead your targets. I'll see you next time. Okay, so that's it. Um, attached trailer.